So if you do it right, you can hang upside down, eat the suet, and shake out the hummingbird's formula at the same time. Oh my, look at this. By his back toes. What a guy. I think he's just showing off, don't you? Sometimes he'll take it from the top, so it'll chain there. He'll hang by his toes and pull that up hand over hand, the chain up to him, and take a bite that way. So we hung the hummingbird feeder on it to give it more weight so he can't do it so easily. So he just comes down the chain now, eats the bird suet upside down. Yep. That's what he does. Yeah. It was me. <laughs> Panic at six feet in the air. But not too panicky. Still going after the suet. And of course, his buddies down here the whole time, they wait around and watch the squirrels come over because they know he's going to kick stuff out of one of these feeders, either that one or that one or that one. And so it's not going to waste, I guess. It's going to the ducks. But none of these folks was ever intended to have this. This was for the wild birds. I guess these guys are pretty wild. And here comes his buddy. Yep. Another, another day. Here's a little female. She kind of runs the crowd here. The boys follow her around. And as long as she's happy, why? You know, if mama's happy, then everybody's happy. She's a cutie. We suspect she's got nest and some eggs around here someplace. But we'll see. Yeah, just comes right in like she owns the place. Checking around here. Checking there. Checking over here. And back to the gymnastics. Of course, it is a duck proof fence. No, not so much. Look at this guy. That's it. Getting a little pudgy, I think, all that suet. <laughs> 